Good evening. Hi, everyone. Hello. 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 Good Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hello. How are you guys? Te escucha. Escucha bien. Sí. Yes. All right. Welcome. Welcome, Veronica, Jessica Esmeralda. We have Catherine Rebecca. We got Yancy. We got Luz Garcia. Joaquín. We also have Jessica Vanessa that is connecting right now. How is your day going, guys? Is everything okay? Everybody nice today? With all the energy to continue? Yes? Good night. Hey, hey, good evening. Welcome, Catherine. How are you? Hello. Very good. You're very good? Nice. Very good. Okay. Guys, okay, we'll continue today. Yesterday, it was not possible to connect to the class because of the energy, but here we are again. Remember that in the previous class, we were studying about telling the time, right? So we were practicing with that. And now let's continue with this. Let's continue practicing with it. Now let's give the time. For example, here, if we ask about the time in New York, can you tell me what time is it in New York? Veronica? It is. Ah, very good. Um, yes. Two o'clock. Is it two o'clock? Are you mm -hmm. sure? No, it's 12. 12? No, no, no. Okay. Who can help? Help, help, help. It's a. Remember? It's nine past. In New York. In New York. Remember that you need to check the hands, right? Hay que ver las manecillas. ¿Cuál es más pequeña que la otra? La del 12. Ajá, uh -huh, that's good. If you remember here the, the part that we gave, for example, is 10 past 2. Right? For example, this one, right? If we follow these rules, seguimos la regla de acá? Right? It can be it's 10 plus, uh, or you have past two, right? And in that case, it will be this one. Like here. Okay. So if we have New York, it will be 1210. Or... 10 past 12. So it is 10 past 12. Remember uh, the case of past? ¿Cuántos minutos pasadas una hora? We can use past. Yes? Okay, now what about London? Can you tell me what time is it in London? Jessica Esmeralda, what time is it in London? Hello, Jessica. Jessica Esmeralda, are you present? Hello, no? Catherine Rebecca? London. Yes, please. Here we have in London. Bye. Aha. Bye. It's fine. Ah, very good. Aha. Uh -huh. It's five. What else? Fine. It's five ten, right? Five ten. Aha. Uh -huh. Or also you can say 
10 plus 5. 10 minutos pasadas las 5. It's like similar than this one. It's 10 past 5. Yes? What about in Bangkok? Jensi, what time is it in Bangkok? Here we have Bangkok. Yes, I can hear you perfectly. Aha, uh, uh -huh, correct, this one. What time is it in Bangkok? It's Aha. It's twelve um past twelve past no porque no son doce minutos pasadas la hora sino son diez um, diez pasadas con la hora diez pasadas las y diez pasadas las doce is ajá y is ten very good Pass. Uh -huh. 12. 12. Excellent. Very good job. That's nice. All right. Mm -hmm. Kevin. Welcome, Kevin. Let's continue, please. What time is it in Moscú? Kevin, are you present? Present. Hi, Kevin. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello. Can you give us the time, please? What time is it in Moscow? Um, no me puede el reloj analógico, teacher. I'm sorry? No me puede el reloj analógico. Ah, okay. Remember that here we have like a every minute or every number represents five minutes. Cada número va a representar cinco minutos. Por ejemplo, a partir del 1 son 5. El 2 serían 5 más, serían 10. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 y 60 minutos. ¿Yes? Or, for example, if we write here in a square, if you say and it's if you write um, five like this i suppose this one what time is it here kevin All right, Oscar. Oscar, welcome. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí, sí. Hello. Can you give us the time, please? What time is it in Beijing? Um, where, where ah, uh, in Beijing. Beijing, yes. Uh, one and ten. One of ten. One, one and ten, correct. What is another form that we can say it? Ten past. Mm, yeah, yeah. Ten past on one. Excellent. That's correct. Ten past one. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have that exercise. Now let's continue here with the other part. We're going to watch the video. And the video is what time is it? So we'll see other examples there. Let me verify it here. All right, this one to give the time. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn. No problem with the video. Hello. Eh, solo un poquitito, hacer un poquitito más grande. Solo ah, eso, ok, perfecto. El audio es ok, ¿verdad? Right? El audio es ok. ¿Sí? 
¿El audio está bien? El audio. Sí, el audio sí está bien. Ok, perfecto. Ah, Gracias. Let's get started by looking at some clocks which are expressing the time. Let's listen and repeat. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty five. It's a quarter to two. Now, what we want to do is make our own examples by changing the time on those clocks. I'm going to change the time for each and express a different time. Let's do it. Instead of one o'clock, we will say two. Notice that the only thing that we will change is the number for now. It's two o'clock. For our uh, next example, it's 2.05. After that, it's 2.15. Then it's 2.30 or it's half past two. Next, it's 2.40 or it's 20 to three. Our last example, it's a quarter to three or it's 2.45. I would like for you to express the time now. I will give you the numbers and you should write the time. Now I would like to go over some time expressions. Let's listen and repeat. In the morning, a.m. Noon, p.m. In the afternoon, p.m. In the evening, p.m. At night, p.m. Midnight, a.m. Let's uh, practice these time expressions now. Let's listen and repeat. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. In this class, we've covered how to express the time in different ways. It's important that you learn all those different ways to express the time. What I would like for you to do now is to practice expressing the time in different ways. I'll write the expressions and you should work on expressing the time in a different way. For example, it's 9 o'clock in the evening. Another way to express this is by saying it's 9 p.m. Now I would like for you to change these expressions in a different way. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 3 in the afternoon. It's 3 a.m. It's 6 p.m. It's 4 p.m. It's 12 p.m. All right, now we watch the video and uh, we can continue practicing. On the video, remember that you saw these pictures and you can express the time depending on the like a process of the day, right? For example, if it's in the morning, if it's in the afternoon, if it's at noon or if it's in the evening or at night. For example, we have here, is it the yam? Or p.m. Remember, a.m. morning. P.m. then is in the time. The time of the evening or the night. For example, here we have it's seven or it's seven o'clock. Remember that o'clock that means exactly at that time. So it's seven o'clock in the morning because also it's possible to say it's seven o'clock in the evening right so they have two periods of the day it's 7 a.m 
So this is another possibility that you can say it. Now, the next one is it's 12 or it's 12 o'clock because it's exact time, exact hour. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's noon substitutes 12 p.m. So that noon, that means a mediodía. So that is an it's noon. The next one is it's four or it's four o'clock. It's exactly four. In the afternoon, it's 4 p.m. So if you say p.m., it's because it's in the afternoon, not in the morning now, right? Let's see the next one. It's 7 or it's 7 o'clock in the evening. Yeah. So it's like a part. Evening is ya despidiéndonos de la tarde y entrando a la noche. So that's why it's in the evening. So it's 7 p.m. It's 10 or it's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. So you have two options to say it here. Now, in the next one, you have it's 12 or it's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. So you see here, it's like a half and a half, right? In the middle of still the night and the next day. It's midnight. Right? So now we're going to repeat this one. Oscar, repeat this mm -hmm. one, please. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Excellent. It's 7 a.m. It's 7 a.m. Excellent. Thank you. Kevin, continue, mm -hmm. please. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's me. Excellent. That's good. Veronica, continue. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. That's good. It's 4 p.m. It's 4 p.m. Excellent. Catherine and Rebecca, continue. It's seven o'clock in the evening. Catherine, Rebecca? Hello? Gen Z? Gen Z? Hello, let's repeat it, please. Um, it's seven o'clock in, in the, the, uh, in the, in the evening. evening. In the evening. In the evening. evening. Mm -hmm. It's in 7 p.m. It's 17 p.m. It's 17 a.m. It's 7 p.m. It's 7 p.m. P.m. That's good. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Luz Garcia. Hi, Luz Garcia. Welcome. Hi. Hello. It's 10 o'clock at night. Let's repeat it, please. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Continue. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's the... It 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's 12 a.m. 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 That's good. It's midnight. It's midnight. Very good. Thank what, you. What is, yes. what is midnight? Midnight. Medianoche. Podría explicar. Sí. Ah, medianoche. Medi ah, ah okay. es la medianoche. O sea, está entre, entre todavía el día anterior y ahí. Ajá, como la siguiendo. madrugada. Y... Ajá, y sí. sí. So, es, 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 son las 12 en punto y todavía la noche es medianoche aún. Sí, sí, aún ya es casi, medianoche. Ya casi llegando, ¿verdad? A la, a la madrugada. So, sí, sí. Ajá, it's midnight. Yes, hello. Que se me cortó la llamada. Sí, se le, se le escucha como cortado. Hello? Hola, Ticha. Ve que Hello. se me cortó este, la, la clase donde. Ah, ok. Es que sí, venía hoy... este, en el camino. No ah, había llegado okay. a la clase. Sí, ah, oh, yes, Catherine. Ah, ok. That's good, that's good, Catherine. Thank you. Ok, so continue here. Practicing. We're practicing about the time to give the hour. So let's repeat this one. It's nine o'clock in the evening. Catherine? Hola, hola. Hello, Catherine. 
All right, let's repeat this one, please. It's nine o'clock in the evening. It's nine o'clock in the evening. That's good. Evening. It's nine evening. Uh -huh. It's nine p.m. That is correct. Thank you. That's very good. Okay, now it's let's nine a.m. Evening yes. and nine p.m. That is evening. Evening. Yeah, evening. for noche, right? Yeah, that's very good. Nice one. All right, let's see. Let's continue with Brenda. Welcome, Brenda. Hello. Hello, girl. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. Excellent. Okay, so what is another option? To say that is in the morning. What will be another option? Here. It's 8 o'clock in the morning? So it's 8 a.m. or p.m.? A.m. A.m., that's good. Yes, it's 8 a.m. Yes, very good. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Jessica Franco. Jessica Franco, hello, hello. Are you present? Jessica? Carlos Arturo? Me ofrezco de voluntaria. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's see this one. It says it's 12 o'clock at night. Let's it's 12 o'clock at night. At night. At, at night. night. Thank you. Okay, night. what is the other option? What is the other it's option? 12 p.m. Excellent. That's good. Thank you. It's 12. PM. PM, excellent. That's In the night. As you're saying PM, este de acá sustituye night. Entonces podemos decir PM o podemos decir at night. At night. Ajá, you can say at night. No decimos in the night, decimos at night. Ahora el resto si sí decimos, ajá. Solo una pregunta, solo cuando yeah. es este, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, para en la mañana Ajá. y en el atardecer, sí se puede decir in the, in the afternoon. ¿eh? That is y, y en el caso, y en el caso creo yo, o sea, eso lo recuerdo hace mucho tiempo, que uh -huh. cuando una, de eso de señalar in the afternoon, no es lo mismo que decir in the, in the morning, porque creo que cuando va a iniciar la siguiente palabra después de, de la palabra di, que es como que uh -huh. es un artículo que señala. Exactly. Ajá, este, cuando va a iniciar con una consonante, se dice the, uh -huh. the morning. The. Y en este caso, como va a iniciar con una vocal, di, di. That is correct. Excellent. Okay, that algo así correct. recuerdo. Exactly. Ajá. That is correct. Uh -huh. Yes. It's in the case of, for example, when you say the apple, the airplane. Uh -huh. The eraser, you don't say the eraser, right? Mm -hmm. The apple, you say the apple. Yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sí. Thank you for remembering that. That's good. Thank you. Okay. okay. Let's see. Let's continue with um, Miguel Antonio. We have the other option here. The other time is three in the afternoon. Miguel, are you there? Are you present? No? Carlos Arturo? It's three. It's three in the afternoon. Ah, that's good. It's three in the afternoon. 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 So, excellent. What is the other option that I can use? It's 3 p.m. Perfect. That's good. Yes. It's 3 p.m. That is all right. Thank you. All right. Let's continue then with um, Veronica. Veronica, can you help us with the next one, please? In this case, you have like the specific hour. It's 3 a.m. It's 3 a.m. 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 So what is the other option? Is it in the morning it's or in the afternoon? Uh-huh. In the morning. Ah, that's good. It's three in the morning. That's good. In the morning. Three in the morning. Excellent. Thank you. 
Let's continue. Gen C. You see, we have the next one. It's 6 p.m. Uh -huh. In the case of 6 p.m., what is it? Is it morning, evening, or, or at night? What do you think? Evening? In the evening, correct. Yes. It's the evening. It's? Can you repeat, please? It's the, it's the evening. It's 6, right? It's it's six. It's six. Uh huh. In the evening. In the evening. In the evening. In the evening. It's six. In the evening. Yeah, that's correct. It's six in the evening. In the evening. In the evening. Or also you can say six o'clock, right? Because. It's exact time. So you can say o'clock. O'clock. It's six o'clock in the evening. It's six o'clock in the evening. That's all right. Good one. So you notice that we have different options, right? To say the time. It's not one specific manner to express it. Do you have questions? no sé si seré solo yo, pero este, escucho como no, no, no entiendo a veces lo que dicen. Todos escuchan cortado. Mm, yo no. no. Escuchan bien, quizás no es sé el si audio. Será, quizás, mm, señal, no sé. tal, Puede ah, ser tal ah, vez ah. la señal. Eh, sí, porque pues, hay ahorita reacciones de relámpagos en el cielo. Sí, igual que ayer que estuvo esa tormenta eléctrica. Ah, sí. Estuvo tremendo. Eh, oh. Costó para que regresara la luz y después para que se restableciera el servicio. Sí. Si tiene conectado sí. audio a, a computadora o está con celular. Hello. Con celular. Con celular. Y, y ya intentó entrar de nuevo, salirse y entrar de nuevo. Tal vez así se le restablece. Sí, porque ahorita sí ya se le escucha cortado. Bueno. Pero tal vez así le funciona bien. Y me hace saber. Conectarme de, de la compu. Ah, si ¿sí se pudiera conectar de la compu. Sería, sería mejor si tiene... All right, so let's continue here, guys. We need to go here. Let's check here the next part. Okay, on the next one, remember that you had the exercise on the platform, right? Can you hear? ¿Se escucha? ¿Me escuchan bien? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. So let's remember that here in the platform, it appears the clocks. And you need to select two answers, two possible answers. Así como hemos visto que hay dos formas para dar la hora, también acá en la plataforma les aparecen dos formas correctas. So what about in this one? Tell me about this one. What time is it? Seven, 7.50. 750, are you sure? No, porque si no estuviera como pasada a las 7 acá. Uh, Ajá, está six, como... 6 of 50, 6 of 50. Okay, so we have 650, that is one option, right? One option. Other option, other option uh -huh. is the 10, it, 4, 10. 7. Ajá, uh -huh. okay, yes. Is 10? Sorry, can you repeat? It's 10? It's 10 to 7. 10 to 7, that's good. Yes, very good. Yeah, porque ese tú nos representa que falta tantos minutos para la siguiente hora. Así como lo tenemos acá, right? It's 10 to 7. Or it's 6.50. You have 6.50. 
That's, that's very good. That's nice. Okay, let's go ahead then with our next part. Okay, we're going to continue here. It says by the end of this class, you will be able to understand rising and falling intonation in yes, no questions and WH questions. So that means that this one is when we give intonation to the words or to the questions, donde aplicamos la mayor fuerza de voz, donde elevamos la voz y donde se disminuye la fuerza de voz. So it's creciente or decreciente. So that's why we have definition here, intonation. Intonation refers to how the voice can change pitch to convey meaning. So es la manera de como uno eh, la voz va cambiando la verdad de acuerdo a a qué le pone énfasis. So let's check here. Rising intonation as rising it means creciente, right? Es una entonación creciente que se eh, if you say it like you increase your voice, se incrementa el tono de voz. Rising intonation is essentially the opposite of falling intonation. In case that was unclear. Eso es en el caso de que tal vez una pregunta que hacemos no suene claro por la manera de cómo le estamos dando la mayor fuerza de voz. ¿Qué tono le estamos dando? Then is when the voice rises or gets higher in pitch towards the end of a sentence. Rising intonation is most common in questions that can be answered with a yes or no. Lo más correcto es que cuando uno eleva la voz es porque pone énfasis en una pregunta en la que se investiga o se afirma si es eh, algo positivo o negativo, como es el caso de las yes no question. So you see here, rising intonation. For example, Am I reading? Am I reading? Se so observa cómo se va elevando la voz, ¿verdad? No toda, no toda la pregunta va eh, con la mayor fuerza de voz en, en cada palabra, ¿no? No, es, no lleva el mismo nivel de entonación, sino que va cambiando, va incrementando. Por eso es rising intonation. Another example would be, are you reading? Are you speaking? Is he crying? Is she eating? Is it cooking? Is it telling? Are you sleeping? Are we skin? Are they skin? You see, you put emphasis on the last. Vamos poniendo emphasis y va aumentando la voz, el tono de voz. Hacia la última, ¿verdad? Hacia la última palabra para poner énfasis, en este caso, en la acción que se está realizando. Now, in the case of falling intonation, falling es que va cayendo, que la entonación va decreciendo, va disminuyendo. O sea, sería contrario al rising intonation. So, as falling intonation is when the voice falls or lowers in pitch, gets deeper towards the end of the sentence. So normally we use WH questions, like who, what, where, why, when, it can be what time, right? All of the WH that are possible. So we have here falling intonation, like here. If we can observe here, the flecha, how va acá, de más elevado hacia abajo. WH question, remember it goes like, what am I doing? Where is he going? Who are you meeting? Al inicio, se coloca la mayor fuerza de voz. Se incrementa el tono y va poco a poco disminuyendo. Now, let's check here in our next part. Do you have questions in this part? Preguntas hasta ahorita. Esta es solo una, una introducción. Vamos a ver más ejemplos. Questions? Solo una pregunta. Yes, tell me. Uh, rising is rising. rising ¿Qué uh -huh. significa? Creciente. Que se eleva. 
Ajá, que la entonación se eleva, se incrementa. En el caso de las yes no question, si observamos acá, va disminuida el tono de voz al inicio, pero al final de la pregunta se va a elevar, porque queremos hacer énfasis acá en la acción que está realizando la persona. Por ejemplo, am I reading? Are you speaking? Is he crying? No va la pregunta, no es correcto eh, pronunciarla como ¿Ya? Lleva el mismo tono de voz, entonces no estamos poniéndole énfasis a nada. Por eso es que la entonación es bien importante. Ahora, ah, en, la sí. falling, ajá, en la falling intonation es al contrario, porque aquí va cayendo. Empezamos con la voz creciente o la entonación creciente con la WH, porque ponemos énfasis en qué, en dónde. ¿En quién? ¿A qué horas? ¿En cuándo? Y poco a poco va disminuyendo el tono de voz. Ahí. What am I doing? Where is he going? Who are you meeting? You see the difference? ¿Observan la diferencia? Solo entonación sí. es bien, bien importante acá, pero vamos a ver otros ejemplos. For that, we are going to watch the video. This is to check the difference between rising and falling intonation. For example, What's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and WH questions. Would you like to watch it one more time? ¿Quisieran verlo de nuevo? Yes. Yes, okay. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn about rising and falling intonation in yes or no questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences, but in one the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening 
and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and WH questions. All right. Now you saw those ones, those examples there. Now we're going to check others. So let's practice it here. As notice there that when you talk about rising intonation, it's because you increase, you elevate your tone of voice. Se eleva el tono de voz. So that is in rising intonation, but falling intonation, it goes down. El tono de voz se va disminuyendo. Questions? Eh, yo aprovechando pues eh, el espacio, eh, el... quiero pues hacer una, una pregunta eh, fuera del, del tema, este de otro tema, siempre de lo que es este, las preguntas que están en la, en la sección 5. Uh -huh. eh, las últimas que yo estoy tratando de contestar todas me salieron mal, que, que se trata de, de escuchar un audio y, y pregunta qué está haciendo eh, Mary. Este, mm -hmm. Mary okay. is, is it doing? Yes. Y entonces yo, la primera le, pues, se escucha como que ella está, na, está nadando uh -huh. en una piscina. Y yo así puse, yes. este, she's, she's swimming. Solo yes. eso puse así. Uh -huh. Pero, y así fui poniendo algunas, no estaba muy segura. Hay una que se oye como que es una podadora. Entonces yo puse, este, she's, she's, este, cutting. Creo que está she's bien, cutting. ¿verdad? Que, uh, cutting. She's cutting, ajá. With eh, the double uh -huh. T. ¿Cómo? Double T. Debe ir doble T. Ajá, acabar. Cutting con doble T. Cutting, correcto. Que está podando, ¿verdad? Con la podadora. Y hay otra que está como escuchando la radio. Entonces yo le puse listening mm. to radio. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Listening to But, the radio. Ajá, li, uh, yo solo le puse list, listening, listening radio. Solo así. Entonces faltó la, la palabra to. to. Ajá, correcto. Mm -hmm. Si es que a veces por una letrita, a veces y no puede mm. salir. O por el entonces cuando, que que... entonces, cuando está nadando, tendría que ser she's, she's to swimming. She's, she's swimming. No, she's swimming. Es que no, no, Solo en todos los, ajá, no es en todos mm -hmm. los verbos que va a ir acompañado de, de esa preposición. Tú, listen, sí, porque es, es, uno mm -hmm. siempre escucha a algo o escucha a alguien. Por eso mm -hmm. es que la preposición es necesaria. Pero sí, a veces aparece, digamos, si. Han, han empezado y ese es una eh, es el inicio de una oración tiene que ir en mayúsculas entonces a veces uh -huh. por eso es que puede dar error en la plataforma y sí ahí les aparecen sonidos sí y que yo Ajá. todas me salieron malas todas están en rojo y por eso quería pues preguntar para recibir Ajá. un poco de orientación de qué Hay puede ver... tratarse sí exacto sí más adelante aquí de, de hecho les tengo unas imágenes que son parecidas a esas a los audios. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y de hecho creo que les mandé un audio. Estuve buscando unos audios ahí, pero solo me aparecía el de driving. No sé si lo vieron. Les mandé un, un audio. Uh -huh. Parece que ayer. Entonces, Así ahí es la aparece. primera. Esa es la primera que aparece ahí, que ella está Ajá. como conduciendo un carro. She's driving. Entonces la, uh -huh. Uh -huh. she's driving, le puse yo, pero Ajá. siempre me salió malo. Me salió mal. Igual cuando puse. O si tal vez iniciaba con una mayúscula y quizás le puso minúscula. O dejó un espacio, mm. porque eso también puede ser. Mm. Uh -huh. O la conjugación también del verb to be. Por eso les mandé ahora eh, unas para recordarles cuál era la, la uh -huh. conjugación del verb to be en las preguntas, en las respuestas. Sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Para como Entonces... ubicarnos más ahí, ahí. Sí, yo porque así escuché, ¿verdad? Según los ejemplos que ahí dan en, en, en un audio antes de, para poder mm. responder todo eso. Sí, ahí aparece. Entonces sí, aparece así que she's, she's, o sí, pero no, es contractado, she's. Sí. Ajá, puede ser contractado uh -huh. y puede ser completo también como she is. Ah, uh -huh. ok. Vamos a dar unas Entonces, aquí porque les tengo las imágenes sí. acá de algunos. Sí, 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 sí. Uh -huh. Yes. 
Okay. Guys, we are sí. going to pass the list, okay? The attendance list. We need to pass it. Mm -hmm. So let me know if you are present, please. Let me see. Alicia Maribel. Alicia Maribel, you present? No. Angelica Maria. Angelica. Brenda Marcela. Thank you. Carlos Arturo. Present. Thank you so much. Jessica Saraí. Jessica? Jessica? Hello. Hello. Joaquin? Present. Thank you so much. Juan Antonio? Juan Present. Antonio. Present. Present. Thank you so much. Catherine Rebecca? Present. Thank you. Kevin Orlando? Present. Thank you. Loida Citali? Loida Citali? Luis Antonio? Luis Antonio? Luz Margel? Present. Thank you. Maria Inés? Maria Inés, Marvin Manuel, Marvin. Teacher. Yes. Eh, justo cuando estaba empezando a pasar la, la lista me sacó y me acabo de poder entrar otra vez. Ah. Jessica Franco. Okay, good day. Brenda, right? Brenda? Marvin? Marvin, and, eh, sorry, Miguel Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Oscar Esaú. Present. Thank you. Reina Isabel. Reina. René Alfonso. René Alfonso. Sandra Marisol. Present. Thank you. Verónica Marisela. Present. Thank you so much. Jancy Yamilet. Jancy. Jancy Yamilet. Jancy Alexandra. Hace cinco años. Present. Thank you so much. Jessica Esmeralda. Present. Thank you so much. And Jessica. Yes, we have Jessica Esmeralda. We have Jessica Rivas. Present. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, a todos lo mencioné. Alguien que me dijo que acaba de entrar. No, Loida. Angélica. Luis Antonio, María Inés, Oscar Esaú. Presente. Ok, thank you so much. Yes. A mí que me sacó la plataforma, teacher Jessica Franco. Ok, thank you so much, yes. Jessica, let me check it here. Yes, yes, I have here the list. Reina Isabel. Reina. Verónica Maricela. Ah, yes, I have uh, Jessica Maricela. Are you present, Jessica Maricela? Verónica Maricela. All right, I have it here. Thank you so much. Let's continue. You're asking to turn on the camera. Si me ayudan con encender las cámaras, chicos.
Salvador, para que conectes con thank you, todo thank you lo so que much. necesitas saber. Vení, te vas a All right, let's continue then. Now tell me, so we are with rising intonation and falling intonation. We have the case of, <clears throat> sorry, we have the yes, no questions. Tell me there, yes, no question. What is the correct form? Rising intonation or falling intonation? What's the correct? In the case of yes, no question. Rising intonation. It's rising, right? Because you repeat it like, is he working today? Is she working today? Are you working today? Are they working today? Yeah, correct. Very good. Okay. So this is the correct. It's rising intonation. That's good. Okay. Now let's go ahead on the next part. Now let's go here. We have WH questions with present continuous. We have, it says, what's Perms like doing? He's eating dinner right now. What's Hiroshi doing? He's checking his email. What are you doing? It's or am. Um. So you can continue with am, um, right? That's the correct form. So now these ones are WH questions. What is the correct option? Is rising intonation or falling intonation? Um, falling intonation. Falling it's falling, right? Correct. Porque va decreciendo el tono de voz. It's like, what? What's Sperman doing? No va como, what's Sperman doing? Si no, ella es gritar, ¿verdad? And then you shout. So you, like a decrease, diminish the tone of your voice. Now let's continue with the next part. Okay. And this one, what about this one? About the platform. In this one, you have an exercise. In this exercise, it's asking you to select it is rising or falling intonation. So that is depending on what you listen to, right? So in the first option, it depends on the question that you can listen to it. Now, let's say, on the next part, we have some examples of present continuous. So we'll answer present continuous WH question. Let's practice with this. Let's have some examples here. Remember that with present continuous, we need to investigate something in very specific thing that it depends on the WH word that you have. For example, if you have the case, what? Is your friend writing on the envelope? A specific what? So tell me, what is it possible to write? What is your friend writing on the envelope? What? What is it possible? What's a possible answer? In this case, we don't answer like a yes or no, right? Because you don't... Uh, investigate if affirmative or negative. So your friend is possible that is he or she, because it's referring to only one person. So that could be she's, what else? Suppose that is a girl. What else? What else is next? ¿Qué más seguiría? After she's? What is the principal action? Mm -hmm. She's writing. Writing. Aha, uh -huh, that's good. Aha, uh -huh. she's writing. Writing what? What is it possible to write in an embelo? ¿Qué es posible escribir en un sobre? What's it possible? Maybe an address, right? Tal vez la dirección, right? It can be. She write it. The address. 
And that will be the answer. So está escribiendo la dirección. Yes? Okay, now let's see the next part. The next one, it says on the question, why are you crying? Why are you crying? What will be possible answer? You can give um, a because, right? Uh -huh. Maybe um, lose the work. Ah, okay. Because... I lost my job. Porque perdí mi empleo. Yes. Because I lost. Okay, job. Uh -huh, that's good. Because I lost my job. Yeah, that's a good reason. Good one. What about the next one? Where are the boys going? ¿A dónde están yendo los muchachos? Los muchachos. Where are the boys going? What's the possibility? Uh, to the School. Ah, to school. Ah, to school. That's correct. School. So, in the or, case of. Or, uh -huh. going to or, you can say, to, like, a, uh -huh. to, to the park. To the park. All right. They are going, going to, the park. to the park. To the park. To the park. Look, as here we have the boys is plural, right? Que nos referimos a ellos. So podemos uh -huh. sustituir acá con el sujeto pronombre. They're. They're going to the park. Now, in the other manner, we have the question. Whose car is Pedro driving? Remember that whose? Investiga de quién. El carro de quién está Pedro conduciendo. So possibly you say that he, because Pedro is the subject, right? Is, what is the action? Trying. He's driving? Uh, driving. Uh-huh. Whose car? El carro de quien? Maybe my car. Maybe. Uh, uh, I'm sorry? Uh, trying the car job. Ah, his works car, okay, or the car of the office, the car of the company, right? It can be company. the car of the company. Uh -huh. Yeah, good one. Very good. Okay, Sandra Marisol, what will be another option? He's driving, so you can use a possessive, right? Utilizamos un possessivo. He's driving my car, your car, his car. Sandra? Sandra Marisol? What will be a possibility? Hello, Sandra Marisol? He's driving el audio. Sandra, el audio? El micrófono lo tiene desactivado. No, no se le escucha. Let me check. No, no se escucha. He's driving Ajá. in rent a car. He's driving, but, but who's car? ¿El carro de quién? Oh, okay. ¿De quién? Um, Se tiene que ser de una persona. His friends. Ah, good. Ok. He's driving his friend's car. Se está conduciendo el carro de su amigo, right? His friend's car. Very good. Nice one. Ok. What about the last one? Who is fixing your car? Fixing, that means repairing. Fixing is reparando. Who is fixing your car? Brenda, what's the possibility? Who? You investigate the subject. Investigamos ahí el sujeto, ¿verdad? ¿De quién? ¿Quién está reparando? Maybe my friend. Maybe I am repairing. My friends. Ah, okay. My friend. My friend is? Is fixing. Ah, excellent. Is fixing? Fixing what? Su car. The car. That's correct. Good one. My friend is fixing the car. 
Very good job. That is correct. Good one. Okay, so we have the answers with present continuous. Now, tomorrow we'll continue with more practice. Mañana vamos a continuar con más práctica de esto. Okay. No questions about this? Y le voy a enviar otros videos también para como refuerzo de esto. As the question, to formulate the questions and the answers. Thank All you. right, guys. Thank you so much, guys. Have a beautiful night. We'll continue tomorrow. Happy night. Thank Sweet you. dreams. Night. Drink oh, with night. the angels. Happy night. Happy night. Thank you so much. Drink with the angels. Take care.